Hey guys, Thunder E here. I'm out on the beach and I'm testing out two devices that both had 200 megapixel uh, main sensors. One is the brand new Realme 11 Pro Plus. The other, of course, is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, this is a battle of two very drastic price points. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is like 1200 and the Realme is under 300 or even way cheaper. So, let's see how they stack up. Now, Realme has a 32 megapixel from this camera compared to the Galaxy's and it only shoots at 1080 30 frames per second. So, which is why I'm going to shoot at 1080p 60 or 4K. Just showing you how it is because, of course, we know. And also listening to sound samples. Now, we're going to walk and hopefully um, we'll see how well this handles and we'll just capture some more of the beach and let's start comparing. Seriously, the microphone on the Galaxy is impressive with all that wind on the beach. But now we're taking a stroll using the rear cameras and you can see off the bat the Realme Pro Plus camera stabilization while walking is very suspect, very shaky and it's going to get shaky as I Going to get onto the sand. The Galaxy is steady as you would expect. Also, the colors of the Galaxy are more saturated, but they also are also brighter. So the leaves look brighter, not fake bright, but actually I can tell detail more and it's sharper. The Realme Pro Plus image is good, but you definitely need to be in a stationary position to capture any of these scenes more effectively. You can see less clipping on the water with the Galaxy than the Realme, and also less clipping in the clouds as well. Now, this next shot is from our hotel room. We're on our honeymoon, and you can see this is a shot with a 200 megapixel sensor. For both of them, Galaxy has more saturation and also a bit more sharpness when you look at the palm trees, just the leaves on there. So you guys get a, a good idea of how our honeymoon went. Now, this is a 4X zoom shot, and you can see again more sharpness on the Galaxy. Also, the zoom is feels a little bit closer. The guy who's in the forefront on the uh, beach chairs is more visible then this is a 10x zoom and then here of course again more sharpness of the galaxy than the real me you can see just the sharpness overall in every aspect of the image that you're looking at now we go to the shot here of my wife standing and she's posing for photos the real me here on the 200 megapixel camera brings in so much more light so it looks like the highlights are blown and her dress is super bright compared to the galaxy which has a much more balanced color but when we switch over to the ultra Ultra wide lens here you can see the galaxy looks a little bit brighter not as much and the real means color balance is much better and balanced here so you're gonna get a bit of this you're getting a bit of this back and forth when it comes to switching between the 200 megapixel to the ultra wide which is both is different on both devices uh, with Realme 8 megapixels galaxy is 12 now this shot here is an interesting one of the table because it looks like they're two different colored books and you, of course you've got the uh, magnifying glass there it's black on the real me that book has more of like a brownish tint on the galaxy and honestly the color is in between the galaxy is probably closer to it because it's not a solid just pure black book because the other colors that are black around the real me has made it just darker and pick that tone the galaxy is closer to it there and you can see uh, just the difference in details but both images look pretty nice uh, it's all there, but it's just interesting to see how there's a total color difference between uh, both of them and then we have a shot of the bar in the hotel really nice bar uh, you can see the galaxy is a brighter image here and also less sh uh, sharpening of the blacks and more of a balanced understatement while there's a bit more sharpening on the real made this is again a 200 megapixel camera shot and then we move over to the next shot here we went to the we found this arepa uh, uh food truck this is a wide angle shot of it the realme looks a bit better uh, on here in terms of the colors you can see uh lens flare on the galaxy galaxy wide angle is much wider here than the realme's are standing in the same position for both and clearly the galaxy is absolutely wider in this regard now these are the arepas they were fantastic but they were expensive this arepa almost cost 30 dollars yes you heard that right grand cayman can be an expensive place but the color accuracy here goes to the galaxy that is the exact color of everything that was in there the real me just made everything look super saturated in this shot here and it's with the 200 megapixel sensor uh for both of them again another shot of the arepa here which had uh i think we had some pork we had some plantains some cheese it was delicious even though for its price but again the colors are closer 
much closer with the galaxy than the real me now this shot is interesting because we went back to the hotel sitting by the pool got a pina colada and the real me shot looks better but the galaxy is more representative of the scene but i like the way the real me brought out a lot of the brightness out in the scene now this is at the end of the day, the real me was able to capture the funky lighting in the cloud, but he added it to the scene in the street while the galaxy did not. Same thing here, the real me captured the essence of the cloud, but also added more of that pinkness to the scene while the galaxy did not. Now some low light shots as we're going back in for dinner. Galaxy does a good job. You can see the door at the end much better than on the real me. Now looking at the hallway here, the galaxy is wider and brighter. This is an ultra wide shot again. And you can see more details and more lighting within the cabinets. You can see more of that. While well, it's a bit darker on that shelf in there and the galaxy is, is brighter as well as the chairs, the colors come out much better. Now here's a photo of my wife and the galaxy is a better representation of her, her clothes, her scene, everything. Although there's more softness on her face, I do like the way her face is a bit sharper on the Realme Pro Plus. The Galaxy does a much better job for balancing out the colors properly on the scene here. Again with the 200 megapixel sensor. This is ultra wide image here and the Galaxy does a much better job. You can see how wide it is first of all. Plus it also keeps the colors the same and the Realme gets a little, a lot of that orange color from the lighting while the Galaxy keeps it understated. And you can see the gold handbag and the gold shoes really come out in the scene and everything else around keeps the main color. Again, this is like bronze and brown and bronze. So a lot of colors that are similar, but there's a good separation around. Here's another shot here and this is just a higher angle. And the Galaxy again keeps the colors. I think the Galaxy has less softness now. Uh, the Realme Pro Plus doesn't match the colors, but again, a really good shot. This is from the 200 megapixel sensor from both cameras uh, right here. And I think they're really good, but the Galaxy is more appropriate to the scene. Now it's a shot of the bar and we're looking at the bar here. The Galaxy is a bit sharper, also a wider shot, even though this is from the 200 meg megapixel sensor. Uh, and it looks like this, it feels like there's more separation when you look at the drinks, as opposed to maybe a little bit of blending and you can clear clearly see the cups on the, the wine and champagne glasses underneath a bit better on the Galaxy because there's a lot of white light hitting it as opposed to uh, the Realme uh, Pro Plus. Now this is just a wide angle shot here and I like the Realme uh, because there's a lot of uh, just extra light and uh, a lot of highlights blown on the Galaxy. The Galaxy if you look at the shelving and you look at uh, the lights underneath it just looks kind of blown out there as opposed to real me just looks better uh, and also um, yeah, I just like the overall look of this. Next stop is a boat ride and we're using the front facing camera and you can see the difference in direct sunlight but just wanted to show you we're on a catamaran and we went to go swim with guess what well still guessing but you guys can see, take a look and see more saturation in the galaxy but stingrays yes stingrays and you can see it here uh, i got to hold one so you also have to kiss one for you know eight years of good luck marriage so i did but i liked the imagery here of the galaxy but both did a really solid job now we got back to the hotel this is another shot for you low light conditions it's just a wider shot and also brighter shot just at that image and also the bags on top although i do like the way the bags on top look on the real me than a galaxy this is a shot of my wife sitting down here her complexion is correct on the galaxy but there's more light on her face while the real me does a much better job in dimming that light down uh, and uh, the there's also better focus on the glasses in front than the galaxy same with the 200 megapixel shot complexion is correct with hers there although you can see the real me is a bit of a sharper image and uh, the colors of the couch are uh, kind of in between the both, but I think they still did, both did a really good job here. Now we look at the next photo here is, this is the library, it's the hotel bar. And uh, it's really good, relatively good in general on all accounts. You can see that there is lighting on either side correctly but the galaxy image is just a wider image to use uh, than what we have from realme here 
Uh, and then uh, this image here is with the front facing camera, I'll just giving you some shots here. Galaxy, less highlight clipping at the back. You can see also uh, correct skin tone for me and my wife, while this, it's more blown out on uh, the Realme 11 Pro Plus. And here's another shot with the front facing camera just to show you. You can see the Galaxy is sharper, brighter, brighter, and also better color balance as opposed to what we have with the Realme. And also you can see the background quite clearly and doesn't have that yellow haze all across. Now, what do you guys think about both cameras, right? One's 1200, one's 529. Uh, of course, there are going to be uh, differences there, as you can clearly see when you look at the images here, uh, with the Galaxy being able to move in closer and take that shot. I had to move back there. Or even with this one where just looking at the leaves uh, outside, and you can see, again, certain shots. To me, I like what the Realme does here. It looks punchier, Galaxy looks a little bit understated, but again, I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you think that having a 200 megapixel camera on a device price of 529 is really worth it? Or do you think, eh, not so much? Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. And always don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.